Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have an LCBO exclusive Highland Park single cask. This is coming in at 13 years old, cask strength at 62.8% ABV. Did the LCBO hit it out of the park with this selection? I'll let you know when I know it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, this one is called Fidelis, which I think means loyalty in Gaelic, but don't quote me on that. Um, this is a first fill European sherry butt. Uh, it's kind of rare for Highland Park to come out with something like this. I believe most of their expressions are either a combination or first fill, second fill. Um, I don't know how many are strictly all first fill sherry, especially um, at cast strength. This was bottled in 2019 and limited to just 562 bottles. Uh, like I said, LCBO exclusive. Let's see how this is on the nose. So the first thing you're hit with is lots of fruit notes for sure. Um, dates, like really heavy, rich date note, and then like the peaches, like really like fresh kind of peach. Really nice, kind of like a toasted orange peel. I know sometimes in cocktails, uh, a bartender will take a strip of an orange, maybe like lightly toast it and kind of like express it over a cocktail. Sometimes it happens with an old fashioned. I get that, that really kind of like citrusy, but kind of like uh, uh, burnt citrus note, really nice. Nuttiness, just a slight like little almond note in here as well. Compliments um, that orange a lot. Some oak, definitely I get some like toasted oak notes and some other wood notes too. I definitely get maybe a cedar, which is kind of like more kind of like a sharp, kind of very distinct wood note. But what's missing in this is that Highland Park Heathered style peat. I'm not picking it up. Maybe I'm confusing the toasted oak for some peat but it's not that typical heathered peat you'd find in a Highland Park, for sure. It's definitely a little bit different in here, for sure. But really nice, really uh, heavy on the nose. It's a sherry bomb, for sure. Let's go palate. It's on the palate. Again, those like heavy jam type of fruit notes. Honey, really nice honey note. Um, I do get that honey note in Highland Park sometimes and it's in here. Um, spice, baking spices are really good, very heavy. Cinnamon, kind of like faint cinnamon note that kind of complements that, it was really nice. Um, like Christmas cake, again, like heavy notes for sure. This thing is a sherry bomb. And again, uh, some more toasted oak. Really nice oak note on this. I really do like it quite a bit, but I think it's replacing that peat note for me. I'm not getting that heathered style peat in this. Really interesting. It's definitely off character from what I'm used to from Highland Park uh, in a good way. I think this is a really nice, very heavy sherry bomb without being hot. It doesn't drink hot. Um, it drinks pretty refined, but definitely those, those heavier, juicier sherry bomb notes that uh, if you're a sherry head that you absolutely love in this. So it kind of reminds me if you go somewhere between Glendronic and maybe like a Belvini 15 year old sherry single cask because I get the spiciness that I sometimes find in the Belvini 15 uh, single barrel. Get that in here and then the Glendronic, the sherry profile is kind of similar to the Glendronic. Like I said, it's missing that heathered peat note for me, um, but the oak notes in here are great. Viscosity through the roof, very, very high viscosity. Um, it lingers on the palate, nice long finish. I think the complexity might not be there. Um, LCBO came up with a selection, actually my boy, Whiskey in the Six, helped pick that, uh, it was called the Trillium. I did a review on that, uh, you can check it out in the archives. That one was more complex, I think, than this whiskey. This one is kind of a true to form, sherry bomb. Um, that one, kind of more like, uh, complexity, more delicate notes. This thing is more kind of like a heavy hitter, but you know, absolutely delicious whiskey if you're looking for that heavy sherry profile for sure. Score wise for me on this one, I'm going 89 out of 100. Now let's talk value. This at the LCBO in Canadian dollars was 257. Uh, very, very expensive for 13 years old. I mean, you are getting it at cast strength. Um, LCBO, you know, notorious for having large prices. I think for me, uh, this not worth the 257. I think for something 13 years old at like cast strength, this profile, I mean, if you look at the independent bottle market, you can find something uh, that is equally as good for probably $100 less. 
but if you are a Highland Park fan and you want something, uh, you know, something that you don't normally get from Highland Park, which is this, which is a first fill uh, sherry butt at cast strength, uh, you know, it might be worthwhile a pickup. Now, at the LCBO, I think there's only a couple bottles left in the province. I think the last time I checked, there's about four bottles lingering here and there, and sometimes that inventory can be hit or miss. So. If you are interested, uh, your time is almost right at the very end if you want to find one of these things. There's only a couple left of them. But score rise for me with value, I'm going to have to take off a point and a half for value. Bring it down to 87 and a half. So if you take a look at my videos, you'll see in the bottom I have my score ranking. Uh, 88 out of 100 is where I would recommend you buy a bottle blind. This one would be that bottle, but with my value score added, it brings it back down to 79 and a half where it is a recommended try. So I don't recommend buying this purchase uh, absolutely blind. Um, but like I said, if you are a sherry head who wants something different from Highland Park, something you don't always get, it might be uh, something that you would be interested in. But otherwise, uh, there's other bottles out there at this price range that are, are better buys and definitely you can get something more well-aged. Um, not that this thing drinks young or youthful or hot, but for 250 Canadian dollars, you know, you can get a really nice 21 year old scotch. But it's all up to you. Let me know what you think down below. Have you tried any of these Highland Park single cask series? They released them on all to do different markets. I think the SAQ might have got one as well. I haven't seen it or tried it. Again, the LCBO got a previous one called the Trillium. Um, there's been lots of them circulating throughout US markets, UK markets. Uh, I'm sure lots of different markets have some of these. So let me know down below if you tried some. I know my good friend Richard uh, sent me a couple of really nice ones that he picked up. Uh, I think in the US, they were US uh, releases. But yeah, really interesting, kind of like what Highland Park's doing with these. Uh, if they came in at a better price point, you know, I'd be all over it. But I think at this price, in this market anyway, just a little bit too much. Um, let me know if you try them in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you uh, haven't subscribed before, hit the subscribe button, like the video if you want, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.